Hi guys, Raul from Simple Wi-Fi here and we're looking at our 5 GHz parabolic grids today. Uh, 5 GHz is really going to be the future of Wi-Fi and of course we have to answer to that. Uh, long range Wi-Fi is fantastic uh, but pretty slow on bandwidth. It kind of kills your bandwidth. It's pretty difficult. Moving to a 5 GHz uh, antenna with a 5 GHz network is really going to help maintain your speeds and access those nice protocols like 802.11a and of course 802.11ac which most popular routers these days are, are supporting. So starting from our biggest down to our smallest we have a 30 dBi antenna which is the same size as its popular 2.4 parabolic grid but it's just a different feed horn and of course it's because it's a different frequency. Next is a 27 dBi and a 21. All of these are going to have an N female connector on the back which can accept the same connectors that you've had for a long time or the ones that are available in our store. So the cable connectors you want to try to get with these antennas are N male with SMA on the other end. That SMA is going to connect to routers, USB adapters. Now remember you have to use USB adapters and routers that are on the 5 gigahertz frequency. So the dual band uh, routers are going to work well with this, uh, specifically access points that are 5 gigahertz only. Those are going to work fantastic with this. Uh, and this is really for keeping that long distance connection uh, while maintaining your bandwidth. Uh, you're going to be able to get a lot more throughput through this. The one drawback is, of course, is very directional. So it has, it's just like the, the old parabolics with the 2.4. Uh, we've got 4 degree radiation pattern on the 30 dBi about seven or eight on the 27 dBi and when it comes to 24 we're looking at 13 degrees so these radiation patterns are very narrow and you're gonna have to point directly at that signal source if you're trying to grab that signal or if you're trying to transmit you're gonna have to be directly on to that, tr that receiving end. Uh, any deviation left or right you're not gonna see any signal and that's a trade-off if you can actually aim correctly you're gonna get an excellent connection great throughput but you're gonna be you have to be a little bit patient once you're aiming so if you have any questions comments or concerns feel free to let us know down below or shoot us an email at support at simplewifi.com